What is going on guys, uh, Gabe here at Fleet, and I get a lot of questions asking uh, how I pack in my camera stuff while hunting. I'm packing in quite a bit uh, in this realm of cameras, lenses, and then my hunting stuff, uh, along with saddles and all, that, all the <laughs> stuff that goes into hunting, everything you're carrying in, it's quite a bit. So I just wanna go over today a little bit of what I'm carrying into the woods, and how that might vary throughout different seasons and how I uh, incorporate camera gear and packing as little as I can while also bringing stuff for hunting like like you know, heavy heavy uh, jackets for like when it gets colder. So I just wanna go over that real quick uh, for you guys to show how, what I'm packing and how I'm packing it in. So let's get into it. So starting off, what I'm filming with at least is this rig. Uh, it's a little bulky. I kind of, I always, you know, play around, build out rigs and, they vary throughout the year, but so far it's on. Uh, I have carbon fiber rails, filmed R5C, and the two lenses I'm bringing in are the uh, 15 to 35 and the 70 to 200 uh, RF lens. We film like Canon, we love that stuff, but uh, I'll run in VMAP batteries, so we have a lot of power, and I usually bring around two to three on each hunt. But uh, so that's, that's our lens choice I'm bringing in mostly into the woods. Uh, every once in a while I bring a 50. This is a 50 Sigma 50 F1.4, so good for low light. But uh, depending on the hunt, I may not bring it if I don't, you know, don't want to carry the extra weight. But anyway, getting into the pack, I'll go throw this lighter. We are, I'm rocking the Eberly Stock pack. I can't remember which one this is exactly, but it's a lightweight one, has a big open pocket. Sorry, I only have one camera angle, I mean, using, showing this camera. It has a big pocket and I'm packing a GoPro. Uh, this is the Hero 10 Black. And then for, for lens protection, rocking this, this large uh, Terion uh, lens pouch. But I have a lot of room in here. And so what, I'm, what I mostly do, I take this, I have a lens in here, usually 7200 as I'm walking in. Keep that in there and I can put any kind of jacket or anything else in this top pouch. Uh, or top section that's empty. And in this top pouch, I'm carrying, you know, extra batteries, and then we rock the DJI mics. So that fits all very nicely up in here, and I can throw in like whatever snacks I want and, uh, up in here, but that's kind of all that goes in the top pouch. I'll maybe bring some earbuds to plug in the camera uh, to, you know, hear what's going on. But, uh, and then also what, I, what I'd like to do with the GoPro, I have this little, I don't know, I found this like cheap little thing on Amazon, <laughs> a little screw with a, I have a little uh, adjustable ball head on here. And what I'll do, I'll screw that into the tree and I'll mount the GoPro on there. So it's very small, very compact. That's kind of what I've transitioned to over the years of filming, is really trying to minimize the amount of gear I'm bringing into the woods. Yes, this is big and bulky, but I have GoPro remote here. I'll have my lav mics plugged at the top. I've transitioned to a small uh, shotgun mic. This is the Deity shotgun mic. It's really small, produces great quality audio. But like, yeah, it looks big and bulky, but unfortunately the R5C, you need to have these VMA batteries, but uh, lightweight with these carbon fiber uh, rails. So it is big and bulky, but I'm, I'm trying to like, you know, minimize as much as I have to. And especially if you're saddle hunting, uh, if you're climbing up the tree, you don't want to have a ton of stuff hanging off you. So getting into that with saddles, I went over this in an earlier video, but my saddle, I have added extra pockets to carry, you know, um, extra batteries or little pockets I can put video stuff. But mainly, mo most of the stuff that's in my saddle is just ropes and, you know, stuff to climb up a tree. What I have started carrying recently, I did this once or twice, I think last year and the year before, but what I really have found, which is nice, is rocking a glide cam. Uh, I prefer glide cam you know, over a remote or electric gimbal and I have found it because you know you don't have to worry about batteries and this thing actually packs down to like a s smaller size and so I can throw this on the side of this heavily stock pack and it's quite nice and usually if I'm climbing a tree I'll leave it at the bottom of a tree or I'll pack it up if I need to but this gives me smooth video uh, for you guys you know so you can not, you know, getting motion sickness while you're watching. And I just get very high quality footage out of that. 
So climbing up into the tree, this year we're experimenting with uh, tree spurs and it's a lot nicer because with having camera gear and a pack, I am very limited on the amount of space. If I'm trying to rock a smaller pack like this Everly Stock pack, on the space where I can mount like sticks. And sticks take up a lot of space. Um, I have I have had so many times trouble with like trying to latch, trying to strap on uh, sticks on the pack while I keep, like packing all this camera gear. And so with the tree spurs, I have found it to be very, very easy just to put them in this side pouch, lock them in, and then on this back side, I have to, I put my put my platform here. And I have found it just to be so easy. And as a forward videographer, it's, it's a lot less things I have to worry about because I'm always trying to remember like, do I have my ND filters? Do I have mics? Do I have GoPro? Do I have my lenses? And make sure all the settings are right. So the less things I have to worry about, you know, and my how do I attach my sticks onto my pack and all those things, the, the better I can be to film a moment and to capture certain moments. So having the tree spurs, which unfortunately you can only do on private property, but having the ability to use tree spurs, I would highly recommend for a videographer. So with filming hunts, I've moved away from camera arms. I have rocked the fourth arrow stiff arm before, and I had a smaller camera back then. I had like a Lumix GH5. Anyway, besides that, um, with this rig, you really need a, if it's a heavier setup, you need a pretty heavy duty uh, camera arm to support that. And Yes, they're nice because they give you, you know, you don't have to hold the camera the whole time. But I just found that, you know, depending on the tree, it's very hard and difficult to film. Yes, it gives you stabilization, but it's very difficult to film, like get around the tree, awkward situations. So I found, I just go free-handed. And I have a strap that goes around my neck that I attach to the, you know, the camera. So it's always, it's always connected to me, so it's not falling off. But that way, when I'm, if I'm in a saddle, I can maneuver around the tree very easily. Yes, it creates a lot of movement, but for filming sake, I can keep it stable because I have the bridge that supports it and I can move around the tree and it's free-handed. So if I need, I can, you know, put a camera in awkward situations to film. But I found that to be the, the easiest in the years of filming uh, just to just to go free-handed because it's a lot easier. It's shakier, but you, you know, practice enough, you'll be able to, you know, support it and give enough st uh, stability and not freak out when the deer gets shot and or whatever gets shot and you just kind of you know get excited and throw the camera around but that's what i have found is to uh easiest for me is to go free-handed and then sometimes if we're doing non-saddle hunts more running gun style i have devised this brilliant battle belt camera battle belt that i have i haven't tried this out yet but i have built it out so it's ready to go I just incorporated, you know, good old tethered pouch here, just kind of dump pouch. Lens pouch, batteries, and small, like little accessories, and a larger pouch for like batteries. And uh, I can still rock the backpack if I need, but let's say I need to ditch the pack back, you know, just, and just like run for, well, whatever, whatever reason, you know, if I don't want to carry around a big pack, I can just wear this belt. And I spent so many times, <laughs> especially out in uh, Canada last year, where I was, had a big old mystery, mystery ranch pack. And it was nice, it was great. It can just throw in a lot of stuff, but I found it to be very annoying, like, uh, especially if I needed to swap out lenses. I have to take the pack off, you know, unzip the pack, get into the lens pouch, unzip the pouch, and transition. Whereas with this, I can just have everything I need right in my waist. Batteries, new one in. You know, if I need a new lens, transition, new one in. And if I need to dump anything, like a, I have a little jacket back here or whatever. I have it all around my waist and I'm really excited at some point to try this out because I don't know, like I said, I'm getting to more minimalist mindset of how I can be the most productive with the um, least amount of gear flopping around as possible. So I'm really excited about trying this out at some point and I've always been inspired to do like a battle belt style. It's a, it's a very, just it's, it just makes sense, you know, it's, it's easy and everything's right at your fingertips. But all in all, that's the basic overview of what, how I'm packing in to the woods. And with fragile camera gear and everything, you really have to be careful with um, you know, how you take care of it. Because you know, this is expensive gear. It's, not, it's, it's durable, but it's not, you, know, you don't want to drop it out of a tree stand. So being aware of what's going on around you, how you can effectively pack and unpack, how I can easily access 
uh, certain pieces of gear without having the possibility of it falling out of the tree or just me fumbling around. I can, you know, it's all, it's where, where I need to be and it's not in this giant pack that I have to dig through. So that is the main idea of, you know, the min minimalist mindset of having a small pack and packing as little as I have to uh, that into the woods. That way I don't have, I'm not dealing with excess stuff that's flopping around. It's packing what I need and learning to use uh, what I have to the best of its capability. So you don't need a ton of stuff, you just need a few things to get the job done. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a little dive into my thoughts of, you know, of hunting and filming hunts. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.